Hello traders and thanks for tuning in to this week's Market Outlook from Exynos. In this video, we're going to be looking at a potential idea for a trade over the next few days, the narratives that are driving that possible movement, and what traders who were to take the position would need to monitor. But before that, we're going to be looking back at the performance of last week's idea. Last week, the idea was a potential buy for the Aussie dollar against the yen, with a possible bounce from around 95, with a target around 97.50. So far, that's proven to be inaccurate with the price having moved down to around 93.5, but it's possible that this might be an accurate idea for the future over the next few days, so it's something that we should continue to monitor. Now, for this week's idea, I'm Michael Stark, Financial Content Manager, and joining me to give the idea is Andreas Temesterkloos, Trading Specialist. Hello, Michael, and thanks for having me. So what's the idea for a potential trade, do you think, this week, Andreas? Well, I am thinking of a potential short for crude oil with the target around the 72 or 71.50, Given that the current area of technical resistance proves to be strong enough and we don't see any valid break above it. The price has broken above the recent triangle formation that was valid for the last two months and is currently trading around the area on the chart that consists of the upper band of the Bollinger Bands as well as the 78.6% of the weekly Fibonacci retracement level. The stochastic oscillator is in the extreme overbought area indicating that a correction might be imminent in the near short term, while the 50-day simple moving average is trading well below the 100-day moving average, further supporting the overall bearish image on the chart. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the most important narratives that are driving that possible move down by crude oil? So first, if we take a look at the FedWatch tool, we will see that the probability of another step hike by the Fed in their next meeting is the dominant scenario, currently at 92% chance of adding another 0.25% on the interest rates. This means that the perceived hawkishness of the Fed is still strong and could affect the market's willingness in buying any cyclical assets such as stocks, stock indices and commodities. Also, strong job report data from the US last week with a positive NFP and a near 25-year low unemployment could boost the hawkishness of the Fed until their next meeting, creating gains for the dollar and therefore putting some weight on the oil prices. And for traders who were to take that position, what do you think are some of the most important releases or items of news and such like that they would need to be monitoring the next few days? So in, in terms of economic data, we have the monthly US producers price index on Thursday the 13th, as well as the crude oil stock change by the American Petroleum Institute on Tuesday the 18th. So in summary, the idea for a potential trade this week is a potential sell for American light oil with a possible target around 71.50 or 72. And the primary narrative that's driving that is the Fed's relatively high hawkishness. Traders who were to take the position would need to monitor regular stock data from the USA and PPI as well. Remember that this is just an idea for a trade, it's not a signal and it's not a guarantee of success. Thanks very much Andreas for being here to give us the idea and hopefully see you again next week.